Okay, let's do a quick review of what we did on the last lesson of how to put the left hand in front or back with just a switch. Okay, I'm going to put the same switch in the right hand controller. Okay, let's do that. I first put the right arm here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's get it started. Okay, you first locate the right arm. Where is it? Right arm. I'm going here. I'm looking for it in here in the timeline. Scrolling down. There you go. Left leg. No, no, no. no. Right arm. There it is. Okay, now you select it and you duplicate it. Control D. There it is. Right arm 2. I don't want that name, so I rename it. Instead of right arm 2, I type right arm back. Enter, right? Now, maximize the timeline, then bring the right arm below the body, actually below the left arm. There you go. Now, I'm going to bring in here, in the timeline, I'm going to take this opportunity to bring its controller. If you are having trouble finding the controllers, it's easy. Just ignore these squares and look for the ones that don't have a square, like these three. Okay? Right hand. This is the one that I want to put above the right arm. Where is the right arm? Left arm? No, that, there you are. Okay, so now that I have duplicated and I have the copy below the body, that means in here in the composition panel, I'm going to see it behind the body. Okay, just like in Photoshop. Where are you? Uh, there you are. Right arm, right arm. Let's test if everything is according to plan. Yes, that's the effect that I want. Now, I'm going to bring its opacity just to have it there, sitting, waiting for something that we are going to do to the right hand controller. Select the right hand controller, then go to Effect, Expression Controls, Checkbox Control. Click, click. Now I have it here. The checkbox control is on Effects Controls panel. Now let's select all of them because they're getting my eyes tired. He did select all of them. I selected the first, then hold shift, click on the top one, the IKFK, then bow, collapse them. Now rename this checkbox control to front back. Enter. Now select, click and drag to put front back below the IK orientation. There it is. Now this checkbox is not doing anything, but this checkbox it's going to be showing here in the timeline. How? By pressing E. Haha, -ha, front back, told ya. Click on that triangle for the triangle of front back to bring the checkbox and now I have everything I need. Alt click on the stopwatch for opacity of the right arm and then pick whip the expression opacity of the right arm to the checkbox for front back located in the right hand controller checkbox thing there you are now one thing it's missing I have to multiply it by 100 remember there you go now Let's test it here, on, off, on, off. Very good. And I can also do that here. Front, back, front, back. Yay. Hey. Whoa. Hey, what happened to your shoulder, kid? Look. Huh. We can fix that real quick. How? Well, easy. All you have to do is select that little controller, that shoulder, not not this arm. This arm is not going to do anything. 
So the one that controls the arm, controls the universe. It's called right shoulder. This is the one that I want to put in position. So I selected the right shoulder controller and click and drag to about uh, there. Okay. Okay. Now you're okay. You're all right. Yeah. So that's the quick review. Let me just explain something else real quick. What's happening here? Hey. So this, this composition layer, the CV right hand, has an effect called front back and checkbox. And this, this opacity property, it's tied up with that layer, with this expression, and multiplied by 100. Okay, we're gonna go into more detail about these expressions. If you want to learn all about all there is to know about expressions, you can check the documentation for After Effects. Uh, Adobe has a lot of documentation for expressions. That's what I had to do to come up with this tutorial. Okay, now I'm going to collapse everything by... I'm not going to click on every triangle. So the fastest way to do it is here in the timeline, you say, you press Control A, then click on one of the triangles. Boo! There you go. Now to deselect them, just click on any empty space. This is my favorite place to deselect everything. Bah, there you go. Okay. One last thing. I don't like to have trouble when I want to control this hand, this arm, for example, the right arm. If I want to select the controller for the left hand, the sometimes I can go like, uh, what? What's this? Okay, that's one of the mats. Look, <laughs> it's the mat for the left shoulder. Hey, yeah, I remember you. Remember the mat technique? So what you can do, control C, control C. Okay, everything is in position now. What you can do is bring every controller on top of every layer. That means these two guys are going to go, the right hand controller and left hand controller are going to go up in the timeline. Let's put them there. Okay. Now, hey, this is the left hand realm. Hey, find your own buddies. Okay, okay, the right hand is going to go. Ah. Those are your buddies, right? Yeah. Right hand, right everything. Alrighty then. Now, if you want to access these controllers, the right hand or the left hand, you can easily... Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I'm setting a bad example here. So that's why these guys, these little controllers that I'm not going to use ever again, well, maybe are going to be locked like this. Select every single layer that has this little square. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, these guys have to go above this guy, the, the controller for the left hand and the controller for the right hand. Sorry, sorry. Oh my God, I'm making lots of mistakes today. What's happening? Oh, and this is another thing. If you click on, you can see the layer name or you can see the source name. No, I want the names. Yes. Okay. You are l learning quite a few things today. So I'm going to select every one of these blue squares by pressing control and click on every single one of them. Ba, ba, ba. And okay. Lock. Bow. Now, if you want to select them. Whoa. Whoa, you can't. You can only click on this guy. And I'm going to do it later, not, not in this tutorial. The same for the whole body, but only when we're finished. Okay. And hey, now you can tap the floor. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, Jimmy. You're ready for the next part? 
Let's make him a little bit impressed. We've done a lot of work. This is the mouth open. Ha! Ah. Okay, now you're impressed, right? Ha uh ha! -huh. Okay. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to parent the arms and legs to the body. Why? Well, <laughs> because let me show you something really weird that can happen. Okay, I'm going home, I'm bored. We don't want that. We want the arms and legs to be part of this body, okay? So that's what we're going to do in the next lesson. Bye-bye.